Hello and welcome. Right, <laughs> second slog. Yes, we definitely. I definitely bit off more than I could chew with this one. Well, like I know I obviously haven't, but yeah, I did it. I'm gonna have done it in two hits, but yeah, it's the other thing is obviously in time. This is gonna net us an awful lot of money. So to be honest. Yeah, I mean, our equipment is a little bit, but nearly all new. It made me laugh. I was looking at Ed's and what I was saying about we're not afraid to have second-hand equipment on this Let's Play. But really, most of it's new. I mean, yeah, there's probably a quarter that is. I mean, we've got the 1313 lorry again, which is, I'm so glad that has appeared because that is a welcome. Yeah, very welcome. All right, let's get, let's get, it's just here, isn't it? Right, anyway, with no further ado, I am going to get straight stuck in because we have a lot of grass to grab. Yeah, so I'm going to say my words. Yeah, we will have a brief chat at the end. We shall. So I'm going to uh, see you guys and gals on the other side.
Yeah, we were done. Yeah, quite a bit under what I estimated actually. Yeah, I said 750 minimum, so I think it was uh, 700. And we shall see. I'm not going to guess, but yeah, not an awful lot less than I uh, said it was. I'd done far more than half, which I'm grateful for because it was a bit of a slog. Yeah, 700, 700 tons is still excellent. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to the ploughing. I'm going to leave the worker working for as long as it takes to do that field. I'm just going to leave the game running for that particular thing and let the plough go. And then next session. I'm going to come on and I'm going to uh, do the seeding uh, obviously manually because that it has to be done manually. There's no way the workers can't use that particular seeder, which is, although it's fantastic, it's it's just yeah, it's going to be you, you, and you basically. No, no setting. Not that I wish not to do any work. I, I really, uh, I, I'm doing my fair share. Absolutely am. But yeah, it's getting to a. I did really want to rush, I was in my head I was thinking oh yeah we're going to rush, we're going to feed the animals in the morning and I thought uh, there's still an awful lot of work to do, I mean a lot, yeah and sorghum is the one we're going to go with as I sort of said, so then, how, yeah we do need to put quite a bit more water in, 330, oh no actually not really, no we've been pretty much keeping up with it, yeah and I thought I was lagging behind so 710 it would have yeah the sort of silage is gone hasn't it so yeah actually yeah that is a point it, there would have been more closer to 750 i keep forgetting the fact that obviously we can it convert straight away that's what's left so it probably would have been about 750 tons ish of yeah because quite a few which we can see there's been a tick up it was 25 now it's 28 so as i said the tick ups are going to get uh, more and more as the sort of day goes on and that's the one thing I'm not going to be able to show with doing the worker and um, doing the thing obviously we're going to I'll come back in later and I will uh, we'll have a brief chat I might add it I, I might add it onto the end of this but yeah it, it, we can see that what he has it's been very busy yeah that is going to take a long time though truthfully so oh yeah the, the plow or the tractor might be broken or whatever by the time that finishes I was going to buy another one and I thought um, what I'd like to do in time is obviously we've got to go bigger to get these big big squares done so we're struggling with little equipments to get this done a real battle this first time but in time I'm hoping we've got bigger tractors and obviously bigger ploughs yeah I'll do one more on camera and then I'm going to uh, sign out for this particular recording session or now I don't suppose I ought to really because thinking about it yeah I will just come in so I'm not going to say goodbye because I'm just going to come in In a, it will be yeah I would imagine I would say a proper full hour and a half of ploughing for that one to do yeah but and it's not me being lazy it's just I don't really want I'm going to try to go bigger later I don't, I don't want like lots of ploughs that I then waste because yeah, money's it's tight on this. Although it looks like we've done fantastic, and we have that. That's a, a single injection of grass. It really is. That's yeah, and never to be repeated unless we bought another patch of the same. So yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with these. Whether we do stick these as separate crops going forwards, or whether we just plow them in. Uh, and uh, so yeah, I would like to buy. 39 as our grass fields yeah and keep that as grass just as grass so 1441 I'm thinking we'll literally join those I would say and have a, a bigger field and then the monster field over there that we've got a present yeah I'm not sure I was on about a grand expansion of six seven eight nine and four uh, we, we'll see yeah I, I mean if I was a megalomaniac that might <laughs> <laughs> it might happen. But I do still think it's probably a wise decision to stick that um, the thing at the top. Probably. Although, is it that far? If we did go for six and eight, I don't suppose it is going to matter. It, yeah, we shall see. Yeah, I'm not sure where we go with this. I'm not sure if we're going to continue with Purbeck and things like that, or whether Avon Valley is the new English map or, or not. I, I will be guided by yourselves. Yeah, please let me know what you sort of uh, think about. I'm not saying I'm not going on Purbeck. I'm just saying that, yeah, this is. Um, I, I'm enjoying this survival challenge where we've. Yeah. 
let's have a look as well. Yeah, the other thing is the chickens next month I think are completely all adults. Which oh, is there some more eggs. Wow. That's extra. We're gonna leave them though for now. Yeah, we're not taking any more. Yeah, we'll wait till the morning. That is brilliant. Yeah, the food's gone down a bit, I just noticed. We've got we've got some though, so I'm not worried. Yes. Hel uh, health is on the rise now and we've got yeah, we've got down to eight hundred out of eight hundred, so that may have done something, we don't know. Right, so then, as I say, when we come back in, the money will be down. Well, actually, no, the money might be up. Because, the, yeah, the, if hours have gone, which they will have done, by the time the plough's finished, the workers' wages, obviously, is being taken out. But the tick up from the silage is going to be, uh, yeah, and the, the electric charge and that, and obviously the digester is going up. So, and it is in this one, this one's quite phenomenal. So, this is going to be the best digestate payout at the back end that we've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, at the minute it's quite small. Anyway, yes, I shall see you in a few minutes. Hello and welcome. I thought I'd start over here and let you see how, uh, yeah, very close to being done. It is struggling on this bit of it yeah it is it's quite a gradient actually I didn't realize I know I did say it was a, a bit of a gradient on it so the work has been struggling on this entire section so it is an astronomical amount of time it's taken yeah it really is uh, but it's nearly done it is so with no further ado now that you're going to do about stones the little stones we could Yeah, but we're supposed to do it after. Yeah, let's go grab the cedar. Let's go and do that now. The, yeah, there's quite a bit of work going to need to be done. I think I'm going to no, because this is a new session. No, we've we've done that. I mean, let's face it, we didn't didn't time lapse the plow, and that really would have been a bit mind numbingly. And there's not an awful lot to gain, other than the fact that you say, oh, I finished my plowing, and also the money, which the money's gone up and then down. We've had a few tick ups, and obviously we've had a few tick downs with the wages. So it's as broad as it is long really right so we're gonna need yeah now with this as well we want the 1313 and that new back that we're gonna buy so we're gonna repair that first grab the telehandler which is where is the telehandler ah food that's just about topping up as well and also yeah oh, where is the telehandler actually uh, it is le left at the shop where I left it looking at the uh, the mini map, I can see it. Yeah, I don't need to worry about this really, but yeah, let's. Uh, it is true, I've always said that about habits like that. Right, so then, let's drop this. Actually, that is true. We're going to drop this over at the uh, farmyard. We're going to, yes, yeah, shift everything from here at some points. But so let's get into the habit. Let's just drop this in the square that is going to be the farmyard for now yeah I've gone straight past it that's because it's not it, it's so new we will obviously do sheds so that is my most important task of all yeah it really is more important than any kind of animal or anything is that so right we need to drop down and then we need to wow that is mucky Fantastic. Let's go and yeah, we should top up the food, the chicken food. Uh, no, it's not needed. No, we'll, we'll do it later. Yeah, we will. There's no point in doing that. All we need to do is concentrate on is the cedar. And I do agree, sorghum, because sorghum is super duper on seeds, or was. Yeah, I mean, I, I presume it still is, but yeah, we shall see. Let's grab the. Actually. Yeah, this is one of the few things. Uh, yeah, it's a shame about the farm walls. They are such a cracking tractor. I mean, they they do many things that, that I want them to do. So that's the main thing. But right, let's just get the. But there are an awful lot of things. Oh, but do you know? That, sorry, that was that was one of those weird glitches when. Yeah, again, I've only just sort of like I was in and out of sleep I, I was thinking of walking but no I was definitely in a tractor <laughs> it's amazing the weird glitches that happen with your brain when you're like half and half 
Right. Right, where's the other farm wall? I think we've passed it. It's it's there. Let's grab that one. Yep. And let's check that it's got some fuel. Yes, yeah, so sorghum. Can we plant sorghum in this month? I believe we can. I do. I'm sure it's it's we can indeed. Yeah, this is the earliest month, so this is good because we don't actually have to wait till the let. Well, I don't think so, but obviously, fuel we are spot on. Yeah, the, I did notice the, um, and I still keep calling it the rocket. I was looking at editing at the last episode, and it, I'm how many times I call it the torpedo sometimes, and then I'll go back to the rocket. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to agree that I, I'm going to call it the rocket as a nickname. Yeah, not not that I'm making a mistake with the name, of course. Oh, of course not. But no, I, it's crazy. I don't know what it is. I don't know where I got it from originally, but I did it right at the beginning. I really did. Always have I done that. Oh wow, this has got everything then. This has got like wires and PTO. Yeah, wow, that is a. Let's lift it up and let's go and grab some seeds. Which this should be. At, yes, let's change to sorghum. That's a crop I don't do very often, but very useful for if you. Uh, yeah, got, so. I don't know whether they must be tiny or whatever, but. They used to be. One of the absolute most amazing. Yeah, we do, are we going to? That is a point, actually. Do we just just do this ourselves? No, I don't think there's much in this again. I'm sure there isn't. We want to go with the full. Oh, okay. No, there is actually. Yeah, spawn. Right. Well, let's go and do our sorghum then. It doesn't really matter about the liming and the fertilising straight away, but uh, did I just see? We have got lime now. I think we might have already got enough lime, actually. Two full bags, and then there's that 2,300 and something litres. Oh, I was going to sneak across the grass. Bad habits, remember. Yes. Yeah, it really is a shame about that uh, Valmet as well. I've had that a few. I had to do the same on. Um, we bought it exactly the same. I love the sound of it, but it doesn't seem to work. There was a, re and that was nothing to do with hand attached. So, I've got to be honest, as I do with any mod that doesn't actually work, as in like you can't get it. It. it I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to unfortunately get rid of it. There was a reason on that one, and. Obviously, it's been weeks and weeks since that finished. Months, in fact, since Rombos Mark II. So, if that mod's still not fixed after all this length of time, then it's gone. It's a shame because there's a lot of work gone into it. It's an awful lot. Of that I, I, I thought, I sort of did think about it originally. It's so interesting. It really is. But yeah, it's got to work. It has. So I can't remember what didn't work on the Rombos Mark II Let's Play. But it, yeah, it's. Now this is a point. Ah, I believe we have just finished our ploughing. Fantastic. We have indeed. Right. Okay. Well, let's tell you to come down here. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of tidy up. I just I saw this earlier. I'd like, stick you down there. Yeah, I will show you what I'm waffling on about. Yeah, there is some. It's done some damage to the. Um, and if we use this kind of cedar, we're going to like literally go straight into that. So what we're going to do quickly is repair the road. Yeah, you can see the jaggedy bits where it's uh, it's followed its course and it's followed it very well. Ah, we'll also do that bit of uh, grass. It's gone too far here as well. Right, okay. It's going to cost me a fortune to repair the damage that this has done. I shouldn't need to do this, but hey ho, it is what it is. Uh, let's go slightly bigger. Fantastic. 
Right, anyway, I was going to go into a time lapse, so we'll say the time lapse words now, because, yeah, this is, this is going to take a while as well, isn't it? I think it's this one, I would say. Yeah, so I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
And that was that sewn. I know I've got to uh, scan the fields. I don't think it does anything bad if you plant this. I think it still shows growth on the growing seed. The, the, yeah, it's really about, yeah, it is. Well, no, actually, that doesn't prove it's growing. Yeah, it does. It is all grown. And actually, I'd, I was about to say, how well did I do? But that looks fairly conclusively, conclusively good. I thought I would have some little I, yeah I've got a little tiny kick that I do when I'm doing the now you can see that uh, it's gone well beyond the course I don't think we're gonna be able to harvest all that what I'm gonna do after this is the bits we can't do that aren't our land I'm gonna paint after this harvest so it's gonna look a bit messy but we can't it's not on our land so so we did do very well out of that that's fantastic my alarm to tell me to get up when I have been up for a long long time so yeah this is the uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that leave that going and let that finish and yes yeah, half past half past two or very late in the month of April so yeah we've got the scanning to do well, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go grab the scanner because I know what I'm like and stick it on the edge of the fields because I'm a terror and remember that this is the farmyard. He had a bit of trouble that one of the things got stuck inside that trailer. Uh, it's happened a few times that has, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Oh, lower. And PTO and wires and drop. Smashing. Excellent. Let's go get the scanner. Again, this can do that. Yeah, we get, I do love the farm. Well, obviously, I know it is a little bit. There's a lot it can't do, but there's a lot it can do as well. I mean, I, I've had this as the mower with the seven meter mowers that, and it, it, with a front point Pepe 978 front three point link, and it's fine. I've left it well. This, these, I had two of these on silver, and these were my mowers. Simple as that. So, an absolutely amazing bit of kit. The farm all it will not hear any, and it's it's. Yeah, 82 horsepowers. Is that right? <laughs> horsepowers. 82 horsepower. <laughs> do you know sometimes what I do? To, I butcher the language. Now that do we need... Yeah, we're nearly out of this. It's done very well, though, to be honest. Not that I really needed it. I, obviously, there is the proper fuel point now that I know. But it is convenient to have it on the edge of your farm. So I'm going to grab one for... Let's just... Yeah, let's crack on with this as well. Let's do a couple of these every now and again. We'll start filling and then when we pass again, we'll like, literally stick it in. Yeah, I mean, because the, the, again, the farmers, I often leave them as my animal feeders. Like when... Yeah, I, I mean, again, Silver Run. I had one for my feeder. They are such a... I, they're like... I used to use the old grey uh, masses, the little tiny one that was really, really cheap. I, that was the same. I did that on low note. That was the first time I did that. They are useful for a lot of things. The little yard tractors. They're, 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 they're not heavy lifters, but that doesn't stop a tractor. Small old tractor being used still in the for... The brakes were a little bit bad, but that, that, that was my fault. Oh, no, wrong way still. You are determined to crush that equipment. I'd say that's about good enough. And wires. Fantastic. And unfold. Not that we're scanning this area. Have I missed something? Because it usually... Sh oh, no, it is. Well, it doesn't switch on, does it? I, I'm looking for the green circle. You know that green circle that's all around me? That one there, yeah. I think it was while it was unfolding, because I did look at that moment. Right, so we shall stick this on the edge, and this is next session. So, yeah, I just wanted to plant, finish the... And yeah, there's a bit of rough plowing that's not been done but it was already I thought we'll sort that out next time it's it's not bad there's a few little tiny clean up areas I would have liked to have done it but it, it is what it is here yeah, we'll have a look and see on the map very briefly before we scoot uh, yeah I will feed the animals the um, the chickens before we leave April yeah the, like the, later on this evening because it's still we still got a lot of work to do I'm going to do the liming and the fertilizer and all that type of stuff as well right I, I would, I would, no no we'll look for that next time we will let's have a look how are we doing with the 
brilliant. That answers that question. Right, one second. Let's have a look. How are we doing with the... Let's pull out a little bit. That is a big square. Let's have a look how we're doing with the... Uh, so it doesn't need rolling sorghum. Oh, well, we needed to get rid of the stones. So, yeah. It, it, I'm, I'm happy with carrying on for that. It didn't need rolling at all. So there's some crops that don't need rolling. But we did have a lot of stones. So do you know something? I'm quite happy to let that worker do a cracking job of pushing the stones back in the soil. Absolutely. Switch your engine off. But for this session, all that remains to be said is, yeah, 31,000 almost. Yeah, another few minutes and we'll have a slight tick up. Let's have a look how we're doing actually with the, yeah, uh, uh, all of the work we've done. Uh, how much silage have we got? That might be the easiest way to look in there. Silage, six tonnes. It's been, a, a, yeah, wow. It's actually got through 200 odd tonnes. Has it? Electric charge, nine. 9,000 digestate 9,781 yeah that's not bad at all yeah it isn't I'm quite pleased with that that's quite amazing in fact I think you need to look inside the production to see how well we were doing with the yeah silage digestate yeah it is actually it's, pretty, it's chucking it across oh actually it's got more see I'm going to say I did think that was not quite right it's not that quick, 684. It's only gone down a few. We, we looked at it at 700 and something. So, yeah, that's that's not far off. And obviously, it's taken a little bit each time. So, yeah, I'm going to say I really do hope you stick with me on this journey. And I have noticed that I am not playing it safe. And, yeah, it's because it, when you do it safe, you then do that. It goes tall. Yeah, and, and you can't see very well. So... It's a price to be paid for safety, as in your safety is at risk because you can't see out your front window very well. But hey ho, it is what it is. If that's the norm, then that's the norm. Yeah, so I'm going to say, yeah, crop rotation perfect as well. Yeah, no data found. We will correct that next time. We shall. Like, we shall see the whether this is a good, bad, or indifferent field. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. For now. <laughs> I wasn't far off wrong when I said uh, about this being battered. Uh, well, I, I think I took about one of the tools, but this this has just shown you how badly battered it was after finishing this field. Well, there aren't many stones. There's only a few around the edges, and I'm not not going to lose any sleep about that. So. Hardly, we've, we've done a good job even if it didn't need rolling sorghum but yeah sorted I've got that uh, no need to roll all crops mod which is obviously good because you're not supposed to roll all crops and obviously sorghum's one of those that you're not supposed to but we did have a lot of stone so I'm really not complaining it's very late in the day and yeah last job we're going to do is feed the chickens and then go till tomorrow morning well no we're going to repair this 13.30 I want to change the windows they're too dark I know in real life you probably would want that, but it's yeah, for farming simulator, especially from only inside camera perspective, it's a bit of a nightmare because it, it uh, reduces your visibility yet further and you really don't need any more. Wow, this is mucky. Even the inside of the tractor is mucky. How does that happen? There's mud specks on the inside of the metal. Well, I suppose I suppose you'd carry it on your feet, maybe. I'd, yeah, we'll, we'll give them that, definitely. I'm not going to complain about it. Right, so then we. Oh, that is a point. Yeah, why are we rolling past? Yeah, well, I'm not going to go back now, but yeah, it is true. I, I, right. Oh, now you don't lower this. This is one of those with a, a strange exemption in a way. So on and lower. Yeah, that has to stay high because its working state is low. So yeah, that's the bit that confuses me sometimes. And it's usually if if I when I'm whinging about it as I do sometimes, it's usually that that catches me. It's actually up. Oh, but then again, there are some that are down. Right, let the yeah, air repair first. Yeah, and we'll grab the 1313. And yeah, we're going to grab the liquid tanker. We can afford it. So we're going to grab that for this coming year because it is only 3,500. Drawly Christie's really put those at a very reasonable. And I love this mod, the fact that it's still. Um, ejects naturally i love that i think that's quite amazing i didn't i thought it was a mistake to begin with but it's never been fixed and i think i, I yeah i've grown to love the fact that you don't need, need to unload it It tries to unload itself in any area i mean it, you've got to be careful with it obviously that oh my life front lift at 47 and i'm on dollars 
Yeah. Oh, this is really. It is. Yeah. Let's let's fix the dollars bit. Even though this is typically the end of the session, as it frequently happens. And it's I believe it's the one down below and pounds. Yes. Right. So let's get that out of the way. Wow, I didn't half go in a little bit far on that, and then we'll grab the 1313. Yeah, and we must get into the habit of filling up here, even though I am going to get another fuel uh, thing because it's useful to be on that. And I do love the fact that we've got a Missy B um, colours on the side of the uh, wagon. Yeah, <laughs> that one's for you, Missy B. Not that I had anything to do with it, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah, in honour of your pink, absolutely, which I can see all around the map. Right now, then, yeah, let's go and repair as well. And then we're going to customize and see if we can get rid of the dark that we've got on the. Uh, do we upgrade the engine now? It's not very expensive, if I remember it rightly. Yeah, it's 500. I'm, I'm definitely having that. Glasses, what does that mean? Ah, it is that. Glasses. <laughs> that was not what I was thinking. Let's just check. Is that right? Does it mean the front window? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know whether that was better or not. It's hard to uh, hard to say. Ladder standard, exhaust standard, decorative strips, design three. No, that's yeah. We're going to keep that. I like that. Spare wheel standard capacity, iron tank one. Internal detail no. Back warning sign no. Camera only inside of it. Yeah, right. Okay. So it's not. It is. It was. I did think it was ramped out. So yeah, you've actually always got a little bit of. Or is it because we're inside there and it's dark? Maybe no, it still seems to be dark, but perhaps it's always got a slightly tinted glass. It was worse than this anyway. That that we've improved. Oh, now I do believe we wanted the liquid tanker. Let's quickly grab that. Yeah, I know we. It's but yeah. If it was if it was really expensive, I wouldn't do it. But it really is uh, super duper cheap. It's in trailers. I think it is. I always get confused about these because some things are in miscellaneous and some things are in here I think that yeah no this entire set is in here thinking about it yeah we're gonna change the color though we're gonna go for the super duper what else should we go for red for danger yeah we're gonna apply ah what's gonna I know this is crafted because in a way you are Right, let's do, uh, yeah, I think actually black for this, the absence of all colour. Yes, that looks brilliant. It really does. I do like that a lot. Right, let's stick that on and then we're going to just feed the chickens and then we're going to go through till tomorrow morning. So let's grab that back quickly moving around like a drunk person right um, have I done it have I hit the right one no I haven't but I have now yeah now this I'm not used to doing it like this these have got nice back windows though so hopefully it's not got a terribly good turning circle this hasn't that's the one thing I'm going to say but it's the 1313 pack is, is a, has been to me a personal game changer and as is the lorry it's not yeah, it does the uh, very useful things a lot for a lot of right now. No, we don't want to refill the tipper, but we do want to grab that. Brilliant. Let's get this gone. I'm glad it doesn't fill automatically because that would have been nasty. We would have had herbicide, and I didn't really want that. Right, let's get that on follow, and we'll drop the tractor off at the. I was going to fill this up, but you know, it's not really bad, is it? It's, yeah. I'm just wanting to finish the session off, really. Yes, it's been a bit of a monster. Yeah, real time. It did take a long time for all of that to happen, so. 
Yeah, we'll use all the backs on this as well, but we've already got the TPS for dragging bits and bobs, so I thought, well, do you really want another back straight away if it does exactly the same thing? And I thought, not really, but this would be very useful, a 30 tonner instead of a 15. So, I was I was talking about that. It, it Don't get me wrong, it could do with being one of the big H2 Studios on, but it, it, it's that is affordable and still fantastic. It really is. Right, let's top this food up and then, then we're going to go through till May morning. We're also going to check the sales, even though we've not got very much money because sometimes things drop later on in the day, like the Kinsey. Not that we can afford it, and even if we could, we couldn't use it. It's, yeah, way too big for us. And our tractors are in the small range, yeah. I, I was going to say small to medium, but I, I changed my mind. Yeah, I would say that, yeah, 150 horsepower is it? Uh, probably is probably one of the most common sizes for a tractor, 100, 150. Most people's workhorse, and that's why a lot of people have small... Yeah, I mean, the bigger tractors are expensive. They really are, so... Right. Yeah, it seems to have got had slowdowns on this. I'd, although, no, no, it's I'm being silly again. It is that it has got 15 tonnes in the back. This is what I was saying, 15, 20 tonnes for this kind of tractor is enough as it's showing us really. And now, yeah, I've got all the attachments, yeah, all of the wires attached properly. Let's put it that way. Right, let's top this up. And we should be able to top, yeah, it should be a bit left for tomorrow. We'll still need, yeah, I mean, it is using an awful lot. I've got to be honest, more far more than I expected. But, uh, at least the animal's health is going up now, whether that extra one, you know, the overcrowding, we didn't allow it, but with that extra one, whether that did something weird to, uh, brilliant, that is good. Whoa. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said a little. <laughs> right. Health is up to 100%, fantastic. Right, so we'll go through till tomorrow morning. And yeah, we should, that is true, we should now just check the productions that they're all on, yeah, for the selling and that especially for, yeah, that's, that's working. Yeah, that's on blue. And we've got nothing on on that. Have we got, no, no, we've used it all, haven't we? That was last year's, we've got nothing left until we've done the harvest in a couple of months' time. So we have got silage which has been processing as it's been going along and electric charges so yeah I haven't changed that I always leave that as it is so let's have a look at the silage digester and see how much there is to process Great, 676 so we'll only do 250 something tons of that I didn't get the silage additive in the thing because I thought I would be forever filling it up and also our money was very low uh, it was additional grass I saw it as it was a bonus I didn't forget that I did think about it quite a bit and I thought no money's low you never know what's what curveballs you can get thrown in a let's play so let's just leave it at that and, and I did right so let's okay, go through till tomorrow morning eight o'clock is right and we're going to leave it at that should have a nice tick up I mean a big tick up yes great demand at slurry yard oh we may take the digest if the price is worth it we may well if I remember next session that's the only thing I'm gonna say I'm a terror for that so does it say now it's showing as white Uh, that, there's no great demand unless of course it's for something else because the slurry yard does do manure and that as well it's possible well it's not got what we want so that's all that we really care about crops growing nicely the canola and how is our crop looking on the main field <laughs> the main field well yeah we need we need to scan it yeah oh that is a point and I need to put narrows on now do you know, I, I was deliberately not doing that on purpose. It's just quickly, I know I don't do this very often, but 
Let's just quickly scoot to one of those on the edge of the field. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to put Narrows now. and Yeah. Wally. Yeah, no, I, I believe... No, I don't think it has got Narrows. I, I think I, a long time ago I tried this. I'm not sure you can put Narrows on that. You can put Narrows on... Yeah, I'm going to sort that behind the scenes because that, that's annoying. I knew not to do that. That's why I left it where it was. You get you get like a... Another. Yeah, we've got we've got a little lorry, which would do us, do us proud. It's a shame we haven't got the money for that because that would have really absolutely been amazing, truthfully, for... But again, yeah can't afford that. Right, next session I'm going to have to fix this. I'm going to just quickly grab off camera some narrows. Yeah, in fact, no, let's do it. Let's do it now on camera. I, I like things that are going to cost us. Let's have a look. Who's the best? I'm not sure the RX-170 can have narrows. Whereas the Zeta can. Yeah, bad narrows on there. I love the Zeta for that fact that it's got, it's so versatile. It's got pretty much everything that you could possibly want. You can't take the cabin off this. I did try. I, I may have even done it on camera, but yeah, you can put different cabins, but there's no cabin lists, which is a shame because on this particular Let's Play, I actually rather like having no cabins. Yeah, it's, it suits suits the Let's Play. Right, let's get some fuel because this thing, it drains fuel visibly as you're just driving down the road. It's got such a tiny tank. Not that it's juicy. No, yeah, it's not hungry, but it's just such a tiny tank that the second you start going down the road, you are yeah. You'll see it's something like 14 pounds to fill it or something daft. So it's crazy, but it's just because it's such a small tank, so you're forever filling it up. But you can't have everything. It is as simple as that. 33, but it's, yeah, it's hard economy, isn't it? So it's, that would have been about 16 on normal. I think, I think it plays with prices like that, doesn't it? Everything's dearer and and less for things so narrows i think i'd already put narrows on this for when it did the but we'll have a check i don't want to risk it well that tinged i'm sure we did already but we'll have a look oh i didn't realize i was dra dragging that along actually right customize narrow tires but it's nice to look so we don't need to do anything it's yeah, brilliant, sorted. Yeah, we'll drop this off and then, yeah, that, that's it really. That's all I wanted to show, but we will literally get the scanning done with the Zeta. Yeah, I'll take this onto the thing as we just chat. Yeah, so 75,765. I would imagine that's, let's not imagine, let's look. Yeah, it's true. I am a terror for that. Let's look at what we've got left in the production. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, we have got a lot of grass left. I'm being silly. Yeah, we were going to have a, an awful lot of grass left in this. Yeah, 509. There's two, two more full amounts. So we're going to have that payout. We should have that twice. So we have got a lot of money waiting for us. So, yeah, let's not... We're not being in a rush. Hopefully, at some point this year... Somebody somewhere on a farm in the UK is going to be selling a medium-sized tractor. Yeah, like three, 300 horsepower or more. That would be perfect. It would. Right, yeah, that's true. We will drag the, uh, the mower with us anyway. Because I want to start to bring everything across to this square. This wants to be home base now, really. It's weird. You... You gravitate towards what's always been home base, and it was always that was home base. So now to, to pull across to what this here, it's still a fairly central point, but uh, yeah, it, it takes a bit because you always tend to associate your the, your home base as. Now okay, that's the point. Is this clusters lowered? I'm not sure, but we had to undo it last time. Or did we? Or did I just think we did? And I just did it anyway. Right, let's grab the little farm. Or it, it may have narrows, but I'm sure I did a, a little test with this on Rombos, or, and I literally poked onto the edge of the field and I left tire marks. I'm sure I did, but I might... Yeah, you, you do it so many times with lots of different tractors, so... Right, we need to lower. 
and we need to just one set of wires with this and then drop and then let's not test that theory those front ones no they're not narrows I'm sure I've done it with this I've got a memory of the far more and going on a field and damaging the car I could have tested it on the edge of the, the very corner because it's very very unlikely that we'll ever yeah harvest that tiny bit in the corner it's very rare do you uh, with the yeah and I very rarely forget to go back and do that I do sometimes but yeah my nose is rusting myself to actually uh, to see what uh, the field is what what kind of field we've got because obviously I have no clue at all is it still unfolded it is smashing so next session we're going to scan the field we're going to lime it and we are going to yeah that's the point we're going to have to do it all with the zeta so we've got lots of lime here we'll grab the oh yeah we're going to need to put a big weight on the front it's a shame we I'm trying to think is there anything No, because they can't have narrow. Sorry, I was thinking out loud. Sorry, I was thinking of the lorry. I'm putting the um, there's an Amazon fertilizer back. I'm not a massive fan of it, but not for workers because they drag it around on the ground. But for us, it'd be okay. But it's not got narrows, so we'd be literally tearing the field to pieces. So it's it's all on the Zeta next session with its narrow tires. Yeah, we'll grab the WMXL. So there's a lot of work involved for the Zeta. So the next session is the Zeta show, as it has been many times before. So let's. Let's make it shine a little. I do think that's appropriate. But all that remains to be said for this particular session is, I think I'm to this already, but yeah, I wasn't going to add this on. And then I thought, do you know, it makes more sense to t finish off, the, you know, around the edges. So, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye for now.